hello everyone welcome back to another DIY. if you're new here i'm anita fun and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time i upload the new tutorials on my channel if you're by you're welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel today i'm going to show you on how to draft and sew this cut step by step so if you want to know how i go about it keep on watching First thing I'm doing here is just to go ahead and hold in my drafting paper. As you can see, my drafting paper is both uh, folded into two for the back and for the front, I will fold it into two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold it up while making sure I leave one inch for my zipper allowance. I'll be drafting both the back and the front together. Making sure I'm leaving my one in for the zipper allowance, like I said before, I'll just go ahead to hold it on so when I'm working on, it doesn't move. First thing I'm going to start by is I'll go ahead to draw a straight line for the guideline. After drawing the straight line, the next thing I will do is to go ahead. I'll go ahead to mark from the waist to the hip deep line, which is seven and a half, from my waist to the uh, length of this uh, skirt, which is eighteen and a half, including the hemming allowance. Make sure it is just on top of your knee. It is a short skirt. And uh, then after doing so, I'll go ahead to connect it up. I'll go ahead to level it up the waistline, the hip deep line, and the length. After doing so, I'll take my measurement and divide it by 4. Round my waist is 26. 26 divided by 4 will give me 6.5. Come here on my hip deep line. I'll put one quarter of my hip. Round my hip is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inch. I'll be adding 3 quarter inch for the sewing allowance, okay? I measure whatever I have here and mark it down here. Please measure whatever you have on your hip deep line. You're going to minus uh, one inch from there. That way it's going to be a pencil skirt at the downer part. It would fit on your body perfectly because I realized I had to adjust this uh, later on with on the skirt. Okay, just do so on your pattern. Go ahead, connect those points together and you're going to cut that up after cutting it what i did i'll go ahead to open up the pattern the front pattern then i will just mark the nipple to nipple measurement mine is eight inch okay i'll just go ahead and mark that four inch connect it with a straight line like this after connecting with straight line i'll just go ahead and give it a little curve at this downer part okay if you want, you just go ahead to leave your straight. Okay, it's fine. I'll do the same thing here. Then we'll just go ahead now to cut that up and I'll also separate the other piece from it. Next thing I will do before I go ahead, I will pin one part of the back pattern to the front together. Look at what I'm doing right there and follow it up. I'll go ahead to hold it on with my paper tape or anything you have to do so. Just go ahead and do so. And while making sure the, the hip deep lines align together, okay? Just take your time, follow it up, and you will get your sketch right. Then I'll do the same thing to the other back piece of the skirt. I'll just join it. That's the back pattern. I'll join it up together. 
like I did for the other side as well, making sure the hip deep line align. Okay. I will do so, then I will go ahead now to separate it up. Now I'll move the other piece aside. One piece is bigger than the other. So I'll be working on the small one so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll just first of all go ahead and give it a small curve right there at the center. It's not really at the center, but give it a small curve and cut that up. Then now we're going to draw lines and after drawing the lines, we'll slash and spray. We have two pieces here. Now you have to go ahead to mark where you want to start drawing the slash line on. Okay. Look at what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and do so. Like this. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line. If you want to just go ahead, you can draw two or three lines. Then you spray it up. Okay. see the way I'm going about it I'll just continue doing so to I get to the end and I'll slash up the hip deep line from the back piece I'll pin that up just like this then I will hold it on Take a look that the, if you look at the picture, you notice that the pleats almost they were closer to the waistband, even though it did not have a waistband, they were almost closer. So I'll just draw line all the way to almost to the waist. When I before getting to the waist, I'm going to stop. Then I'll go now ahead to slash that up. You kind of mark where you want the, you're going to start cutting from, or you just go ahead and cut it from, and then when you are actually on your fabric, you will mark where you want to start pleading from. Any other way is fine. See? After, like, splashing it, we'll just have to go ahead on the fabric and spray. I'll do the same thing to the other uh, pattern. This is what it looked like. I've already gone ahead to spray it on my on my fabric. This is how I place it up. Make sure I place it right side uh, upper. And then both pieces face each other when you are cutting them up. Don't go and cut the other one looking the opposite way. This is what it looked like after cutting it. As you can see, I also added some one inch of allowance at the other side that will be pleating it. But at the zipper line, if you check the zipper line right there with those pin, I do not add any allowance, okay? Now I mark where my pleat are going to start on. I just go ahead and pick it from there and fold just like this. All right, make sure you just take your time and go over it smoothly. I'll be creating about five pleat, okay? I'll pick and fold and pin. Pick like this, fold it inside, and I'm going to pin. All the way to here, I'll pin that up. And I did the same thing to the other side. While making sure the pleats are lined and... Uh, count them up they are five five and I'm okay with that I'll just go ahead place the right side together and I'm making sure I pin each pleat facing each other and meeting they should meet each other as well I'm just rechecking it then I'll just go ahead pin this down apart and trim up any excess okay then I'll go ahead take my time now go to the machine and I'm going to stitch one inch away because that is what I added. 
all the way to the downer part right here. After stitching it, I'll go ahead, trim off the excess, then I'm going to zigzag that up. See the way it's looking like? Very beautiful. You can go ahead to press that up. I'll be doing that later on. I'll just I went ahead to zigzag it after stitching it. The next thing I want to do is to join the waistband to the... Now I'll pin my waistband to my skirt. The waistband I have here is 4 inch and I also add a half inch for the allowance, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be joining it up together, making sure I place right side of the waistband facing the right side of the skirt and I'll pin that after pinning. I will take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch that up. While I stitch along, I'll have to arrange all the three pieces together. Then I'll zigzag it. I'll go ahead to join the back of the skirt. Pin that up like that. Take. I'll mark where my zip is going to end. Then I'll start stitching from that mark all the way straight downward. I'm going to hem the downer part of the skirt. And we are done. I'll not be showing you how to add the zipper, okay? I will just go ahead to add up my zipper, hem the downer part of the skirt, and we will be done. I will show you what it looks like, okay? ahead and add up my zip this is what it look like i'll just go ahead now to hem the downer part of the skirt and i'm going to show you what it look like okay i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share i hope to see you on my next diy thank you so much for watching bye this is what the skirt look like okay it's kind of funny but if you put it on you see that the thing will be so beautiful in you and i'm also going to tell you why i'll show you why i wanted you to make it fit taking a look at the edges right there right on top of my knee if you make it fitting like a pencil you will not have that small little shape there so just go ahead and make it pencil so we'll be able to fit on your two legs this is what it looked like at the behind thank you so much for watching